Hey guys, welcome back. I actually haven't played Stardew since the last time I played with you guys, so I thought it would be fun to play around again. See what, uh, what mischievous farming we can get up to. I know that sounds wrong. How can you be mischievous while you're farming? But I haven't, since I haven't played in a while, I had been, you know, getting that Stardew Valley itch. As you do. So here we are. Tiny Tina. Second time around. Thursday, day four of spring. Day four of the entire game. So I have a pittance of anything to water, which is fine because I don't have much energy either. <laughs> I think that's my one thing with the beginning of the game. I'm so used to having a lot of energy because I usually I have a game of a playthrough that I just keep going back to. But I have, like, max energy in that one. So by the time I'm done watering, I've only spent, like, a tiny little bit. And I have a ton of crops. I need to actually go and get, like, iridium and set up sprinklers so I don't have to do all of that. I just don't like going in the skull cave. Skull cave, right? That's what it's called? I think so. I told you I haven't played in a while. Alright, so let's clean up around the farm a bit. I think that's probably going to be the main thing that we end up doing, is cleaning up around the farm, because there's so much stuff. Look at all these seeds that have been dropped by these stupid trees. No, the trees aren't stupid. The trees are fine. But I don't want them. I don't need more trees. I want this to be a garden area. This should be for planting and not trees. Alright. The problem with trees is early on, again, you don't hardly have any energy, so it takes a while to be able to knock them all down, because you can all, it's almost like you can only do one or two at a time. Anything up here to forage? I figure we probably ought to get some more seeds to plant some more stuff. Oh my gosh, I missed a flower. Try to remember to come back for it. Once we get to where we're doing the community center stuff, it gets to be a lot more fun. The first few days are just like, well, planting some more stuff. Can sell these, get some more potatoes. Potatoes get you a lot of money, so they're honestly the best bet as far as I know if what you're wanting is money. Like, if you want more money so that you can get yourself farther in farming faster, it's best to just get just as many potatoes as you possibly can and just potato it up all over your farm. And really too, it's like why not why not just go for the money your first spring? Like it just makes more sense. Like sure there's some friendship stuff that you can do. You can meet all the people and start giving gifts and stuff like that, but if you're not getting any further on your farm, to me it just seems pointless. I know I know a lot of people will play solely for the, like, social aspect of the game. That is not me. I am not that social in real life, and therefore I am not that social in Stardew. I have had great difficulty convincing myself to even go meet everyone, but it's like, well, it gets you an achievement or something if you go meet everyone, so I guess to get that thing out of my, um, quest log, I'll go meet everyone. But that's literally my only reason why I would want to go meet everyone. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm that antisocial, it's just crazy. But see how much there is to do on the farm? It just makes more sense to hang out here, especially early on, plant some stuff, and just clear out everything that you possibly can so that next month you're a little bit more ahead of the game and you don't have quite as much to clear. You can just get busy with planting and all the stuff that you should be doing in Stardew. All of the more fun stuff, because let's face it, this part's not super fun. 
This is just clearing. Clearing debris off your farm. It's very blah. I try to make it as fun as I can. I usually will do this. I'll go through with like one material at a time so that I don't have to keep switching tools. So I'll knock out as much of these, as much of this like wood that's lying around as I can. And then I'll go do something else. Usually I save rock for last. I don't know why, but I do. We'll get a little bit of this out of the way just so it's not so annoying to get up in here. But I am super low on energy, so we probably ought to just go forage for the rest of the day. Seeds. Bye. I'm serious, y'all. I don't want more trees. So down here is my little quarry. And there's some copper in here, so I think I probably ought to go ahead and get that while I still have a little bit of energy. That kind of sucked. Oh, a chicken statue. I can go to the museum and get some... I don't think I get anything right now. But when you turn in enough things, then you start getting rewards for the stuff that you've brought to the museum. So that can be kind of fun too. I do like doing that part. The other thing I don't like this early in the game is that my backpack is tiny. It's so tiny. I really want to fish, but I don't have enough energy. Uh, we'll sell these. We'll get a tiny little bit of money. There, craft a furnace, cultivate a parsnip, and meet people. So I still have ten people to meet. Sheesh. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's go forage, and we'll see if we can find any good stuff. Because sometimes there's like leeks and horseradishes and stuff down here. This is usually my go-to place for looking for forage. Oh, there's spring onions. I've, have I met you? Leah, yeah, I've met Leah. My first time I played, I had the hardest time meeting Leah, so every time I see her now, I just go say hi. Oh, look at all these spring onions. Perfect. Get some good monies. No, this'll be nice. Some extra funds. That's it? Alright, well, eleven's decent. Scare away the birds. I don't know why that's fun, but it is. Okay. So, continuing the search for forage goods. I also usually have a difficult time getting, like, leveled up in forage. I don't know why, like, I spend a ton of time foraging, and yet my forage level just stays super low all the time. I'm like, what? I'm trying to forage, guys. <laughs> like, look at all this time I'm spending looking for stuff out here. I think you can get an achievement for, like, cleaning up out here too, like getting all of this wood and cleaning up all the weeds and everything. I've never tried it though. I'll be really nice when the secret woods are open, we can start getting stuff out of there too. That'll be a while. Takes a bit to get through everything. It's kind of part of what I like with Stardew though, is that it's, it's not like instant gratification. You have to work for a lot of this and that's really in some ways how farming is, so I guess it makes sense. But I really like the way that they designed it so that you have to actually put a fair amount of time in it before you can start getting these achievements and like getting stuff. Because right now, I have so little energy that it's only 5.30, but I'm thinking after I'm done foraging, I might just go to sleep. Because there's just not that much more that I can do. 
prehistoric hand axe. I can turn that in at the museum, too. Here, have a flower. looking at me like, why'd you go in my home? I don't know, Linus. I don't know. And the mines are not open yet. I think that they open soon, though. I don't know how soon. Demetrius! He's great. I like Demetrius. He's one of the ones that I'll try to at least talk to a couple of times. Okay, sometimes he'll, like, bring you cool stuff or ask for really unique stuff. I don't know, it's just fun. Nothing up there. Have I tried this door yet? Yeah. It should be a cutscene with that relatively soon. Alright, well, there's a flower to make up for the one that I gave to Linus. Why can't you walk through the swings? That's just weird. I mean, in reality, you can walk through swings. We don't like straight through them, but you can like push them to the side. <laughs> Alright, so it's only 7.30. I have a couple things to give to the museum, but I can't do it until tomorrow because the museum's closed. So there's really not much left that I can do for today. Yeah, I'll save the horseradish for when the mine is open, because it's a really nice mining snack, too. I really like to save stuff for taking to the mines, just because that a lot of the times makes my life a lot easier, especially in early levels, because, like we were talking about earlier, you just don't have that much energy. So getting extra energy through things like the snacks is super useful, super helpful, and just makes things so much simpler. So I'm always for a good mining snack. Did I already check down here? It's just, it's so early. I feel wrong going to bed. But there's like nothing down here. It's so weird. Fine. I mean, if there's nothing down here, why stay, but... But it'd be nice if there was some stuff. I could check trash cans, right. Okay, so... Guys, I found bread. Somebody threw away a whole loaf of bread. How could they? If you didn't know this, I don't know. Some people don't. Some people don't do it. If you didn't know that you could check trash cans, you can check trash cans. I think at one point, Linus gives you like a list of stuff you can find in people's trash cans on certain days. I always forget what they are, but I do just go check all the trash cans when I think of it, just in case. I think I'll save this bread too, that might also be a really good mining snack. 50 energy, that's pretty nice. Hmm. So I think it's late enough. <laughs> I don't know, I always sell my soggy newspapers. It's stupid. It's late enough now that I feel comfortable going to bed. I can't go to bed at 8.30, guys. It's just wrong. It's just wrong. Friday, day five. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow, guys. And the spirits are neutral today, so that should be interesting. Oh my gosh, it's dog day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get a dog. Look how cute he is. 
They added new dogs recently, I just found that out uh, shortly before I started playing this game that they added new dogs and I was like, I need a different dog. Snooch. That's a terrible name. Call him Fetch. Yeah, we'll call him Fetch. He looks like a Fetch. My neighbor dogs are barking because they know that I have fetch now. Mm -hmm. Stupid Jojo Mart. But now I can get to the mines, so that'll be nice. I can go get a little sword. And yeah, that'll be great. Luck, parsnips. So now our journal will be updated because we have done a thing. We have cultivated and harvested a parsnip. I think that means we get some money. I'll check after I'm done watering. I swear, the planting is just my favorite part of the game. I don't know what it is, just the planting is really fun. I really, really don't like mining. I'm decent at it. I'm not great with a sword. But I can do it, but like the farming itself is just really fun. Like I get that you have to do some mining to be able to do a bunch of stuff on the farm, but I don't like it. I don't want to do it. I will do it. I'm, like I said, I'm decent at it. I can get through it, but not my favorite part of the process. Look, a hundred gold. Reach farming level one. I should do that soon. Build a coop. That one's around for a while. Twenty copper ore to do the furnace, and I have like four. All right, so that'll be a while too. I'm thinking about continuing to clear stuff today. Again, this early in the game, a lot of the time is just spent clearing. There's just so much that needs to be cleared out. It just makes sense to spend the time doing this rather than doing anything else, because otherwise your farm ends up in severe disrepair, and it ends up being really frustrating later on. Alright, put these away. And... Ooh, I've never actually seen when an acorn falls before. Have I? A leak! Perfect. You know me and leaks, guys. They're delicious. They really are, too. I love leaks. I could eat leaks every day and be a very happy girl. Here's that cutscene I was talking about with the community center. So this is where things get really interesting because now we have like a reason for doing stuff. We're doing the community center. We are doing stuff to try to renovate this place because the Junimos want us to or something. I don't know, it's never quite made sense. It's just like, okay, well, whatever, Stardew, we'll do whatever you say, that's fine. <laughs> Having a soda while I play- well, not a soda. Having a fizzy water while I play. I am a fizzy water person. I really like a good fizzy water. be fun if they had fizzy water in Stardew. I don't think they do. I like how there's like various things you can drink, but there's not like water that you have to drink. You don't have to eat either, but you can eat if you want more energy. And that's just funny. We are seeing things in this community center, y'all. We are seeing things. 
It's like an apple with arms. They're so funny looking. Alright, Lewis is gonna go home. But, he's gonna leave this place unlocked. And that means we can investigate the thing that looked like an apple. And in doing that, we'll get to go meet the wizard and be one step closer to meeting everyone and have all sorts of new stuff we can do. So, this'll be great. But first, potatoes. I think I'll keep my leek. Let's just buy as many potatoes as I can, probably. I always think about selling them, but then it's like, but they give you, like, a really decent amount of energy. And it's really nice to have a snack like that when you go mining. Which I'll have to do at some point, and that'll be fun when we start doing that in this series. Probably won't be for a little bit, but still. Alright, let's plant some potatoes. Yeah, we'll put them down here. Make it into a nice little row of potatoes. Do you have to actually plant the last potato? There you go. <laughs> it's very interesting. I play on my PC, and I feel like the controls are more optimized for it not being on PC. My sister-in-law used to play on the Xbox, I think it was, and then started playing on PC, and she's like, how does any of this work? It's just so funny. The controls are, like, fairly different. It's interesting. Hmm. Oh yeah, I should put these away. We can go down to the museum really quick. Could do some forage and stuff in that direction too, see if we see anything we like. I should have taken these when I left earlier. Then I could have gone after I was done getting potatoes at Pierre's. Oh well. Have I met you? Ha! Huh. Someone I hadn't met yet. I think I need to meet the old guy, it's like George or something. And I need to meet Granny, I think. I'll have to check on that too. A flower! Alright, so down over here is the museum. And he's sad because they don't have any stuff. Nothing in the entire collection because it's all lost around Stardew Valley. And I'm going to tell him that I'll find stuff for him, and then I'll bring it here. So here is the chicken statue. And the prehistoric something or other. Okay, so I guess just talking to him across the counter is meeting him. Have I met the kids? Vincent. There's Penny. Jazz is just like, strangers, stranger danger, yo. That's my thing too, is like you have to meet everyone, including the kids, but like, what about stranger danger? Is that not a thing anymore? I feel like it should be more of a thing. Stranger danger. I mean, I'm not dangerous. I'm just a little farmer who just wants to farm and not do anything else. Sometimes there's like clamshells and stuff down here. It's like nothing to do. I thought the spirits were neutral, not mad. <laughs> oh 
money. Nice. Y'all, we could get more potatoes. Oh, Granny. See, well, her name's Evelyn. I just call her Granny. Guess that's what she said to do. So I do not bother to remember her actual name. Alright, five more potatoes. Who have I not met? Here, Elliot. Oh. Harvey's like right there. I could meet him real quick. Alright. So we don't have too many more to meet. Sometimes Caroline's up here. She's the green haired one. Sometimes she's up here by this tree, but I don't remember what times or what season that is. I mean, I'll meet her eventually anyway, because she's eventually over there. But let's kickstart this community center thing. So you gotta kind of explore a little bit, but this thing is always in this room, and you gotta go read the book. And I can't read the book. So... There's just rats, quote unquote. And we'll see what happens. Alright, so. Now I've met him already. I've met you. We'll say hi anyway. Alright, so let's do some, see if there's any more spring onions down here. So it's always good to check for spring, especially, I mean, any day in spring. Just come down and check for the spring onions, because sometimes they're there. Sometimes they're not there. I have had times where I've come down and there's been nothing. And that's always sad. It kind of feels like a waste of time. But it's worth coming down and checking. Because you never know. Sometimes they're down here. I have also seen them down here. So it's usually worth checking down there as well. So, I still have these potatoes I probably ought to go plant. Is there any more forage over here? I you know I'm so like scatterbrained today, I don't know what I want to do. The traveling cart is here, I totally don't. I won't be able to afford anything because I have 23 gold. Yeah, see, I can't afford anything. I gotta have at least, like, hundreds. I have 23. Give it a few days, guys. I'll have money. Give it to, like, the end of the spring. Then I'll start having some money. Alright, so let's just go head back. I would like to get these potatoes planted. And I ought to turn in these spring onions so that I'll have a little bit more money in the morning. So I think... I think on the next day, I'll actually... On the next day, I think tomorrow, I'll actually have... Or I'll be able to, like, unlock a couple of things. Or, like, do a couple of the things in my journal. Whatever it's called. My coal. See, I always get ideas and my backpack is full and then I can't actually do anything with the idea because my backpack is full. It's not okay. I'll just 
sell the flower. I haven't really seen much for dandelions yet. Interesting. Go fill this up. escape clearing. It's late enough in the day that I wouldn't really count toward anything if I plant the potatoes today. So I'll do them tomorrow. I totally forgot to get that coal. Alright, there it is. <laughs> I don't know really what it is about this game that is so much fun, but it's just so much fun. I don't know, it's something about it being so monotonous sometimes. Sometimes monotony is just like exactly what you need. <sighs> One more copper. Sometimes there's more ore down there in the little quarry. Not usually, but sometimes. Get that rock. Okay. Starting to feel exhausted, so I won't do anything else. And it's 9.20, so we're getting toward it being late enough in the day that I could go to sleep. We got level one farming. Watering can proficiency, hoe proficiency, we can make a scarecrow, and now we can do the basic fertilizer. That'll be super duper nice. The basic fertilizer, I think, is just made with sap, so you already kind of, if you've been chopping down trees and clearing your farm, you already have some of the stuff that you need for it. And level two foraging. And level one mining. Look, see, I told you we were gonna level up and some stuff overnight. It's great. All right, so it is now day six. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Gonna be clear and sunny tomorrow. And today should be a good day. So that's nice. Got some more parsnips that are ready. I can go see the wizard. And Robin can do stuff. And Robin can do more stuff. Robin always wants to do stuff. And the thing is, like all the upgrades that Robin has are really nice, but they're so expensive. And it's like, why would you tell me about that? This really, you're like dangling a carrot in front of a horse with no teeth. I can't do anything about it. Alright. Yeah, so today we're gonna get those potatoes planted. And I think we'll probably take these parsnips down and turn them in and get some more money and probably plant some more potatoes because potatoes I don't like how far away my water source is from my crops I may actually put in a well as one of the first things that I do just so that I don't have to run all the way down there to get more water I feel like putting a well like up here next to the farmhouse might actually be super convenient We'll see. Alright. Hey, Fetch. Good boy. He's a good dog. Okay. So we're gonna go meet the wizard while I'm still thinking about it. Because I have been known to forget meeting the wizard. And then just not do it for the longest time. So we'll go this way. I almost, well, I did overshoot it. 
I almost went the long way around. This way is a little quicker. I used to always lose where the wizard was. I don't know why, like it's not even in a hard to find spot, but I used to always just like go round and round and round in the little pond and never quite make it to the wizard's tower. So basically, he's just going to translate all of the Junimo stuff for us. They're like pure spirits or something, and they are going to help fix up Stardew Valley in the long run. Alright, so George, Caroline, and the black-haired kid whose name I always forget, Sebastian. It might be Sebastian. I don't know. I'm antisocial, remember? Okay, it is only 9.10 or 9.20 now. We should go and check for spring onions. And... Then probably go sell stuff to Pierre. I won't make the birdies fly this time. They can have their peace. I need to weed that area so it's not like a maze coming through it. At nighttime, it's just like, what is this? Such a cute dog. I'm glad that they put in more animals like that. It's just fun. Um, what? Yeah, we're gonna make a scarecrow really quick. Just so nothing else bothers my stuff. I don't like crows and I don't want to deal with crows. So. Yeah, let's just turn these in. Then we can do other stuff. We can just work around the farm. Do I want this somewhere else? No, I'm just gonna just leave it there. Stop being indecisive. There's some money. So I need to build a coop, craft a furnace, and meet those last three people. For today, hmm. um. I'm always so indecisive. I should probably I should probably have just taken all that stuff over here and sold it here so I could grow more stuff. I'm gonna do some parsnips. It's nice when you can get into doing the saplings. Could do some kale. Alright, so I'll do Twelve parsnips. And let's go see what we can see up here. Alright, so community center. Now that we have opened this as a thing that we can do, we'll go down here. And these are the different things that you can put in to get these bundles. And when they're done, they repair the bridge. So I'm going to need to bring in some forage goods, a bunch of wood, and some hardwood. Uh, you can only... It takes you at least a year to get through this because you have forage from all four seasons. But I think the community center is one of the funnest parts because you get to do all sorts of stuff. And it gives an extra purpose to the stuff that you're growing on the farm and to mining and fishing and just all sorts of stuff. It adds more of a 
more of a game feature, so it's not just farming, it's now you're doing this to like better the town, and it'll be real cool in the end. So now this is clear, and we can go in here, I'll talk to this guy and get a sword, I won't make you sit through that. Gotta reach level 5. I'll do that next time. I feel like 3 days is plenty for a video. Yeah, so this is the bridge that gets repaired when you've done all of the um, foraging bundles. And then you can cross over into the main quarry. And there's a bunch of different ore over there that you can get. And sometimes there's some gemstones and stuff can be really fun. Fly, birdies, fly. I was hoping to find some, like, dandelions or something, but I guess here's a horseradish. So that's something, at least. I mean, finding three leeks is pretty awesome, because I'm going to have to give one up for that bundle, for the spring bundle. But I'll need a daffodil and a dandelion for that as well. And I have not saved either of those things. Great. Can put that back in here. Um Yeah, let's go ahead and hoe out a spot for the parsnips. I'm not gonna be super picky with where I put stuff yet, just cause it's spring year one. I'll move stuff in the summer. I won't have the same setup. It'll be fine. 12. Yeah, so now that I can do fertilizer, I can fertilize this. And then when I plant my parsnips, I will have a better chance of getting silver or gold star parsnips, rather than just the basic ones that you normally get from just planting. I do occasionally have trouble remembering to do that. I prefer if I can do fertilizer with everything. I just don't always remember. It's just an extra step. Hmm. So for the rest of the day, I'm thinking about clearing some more stuff because there's just there's so much to clear on the farm still. It's the interesting thing with this farm layout map board thing is that instead of having just like a few areas to clear, there's actually like a ton of space and it's very spread out. And there is stuff all over it. I do think at some point it might be fun to get one of my friends to join in for this. Probably won't have him or her do voiceover with it, but just to see if we can get through some of this clearing stuff faster. So I think that would be nice. It's like asking a friend to help you move. Having a friend help you clear the junk off your farm. <laughs> Alright. I need to move this piece of wood. I keep running into it. Alrighty. That looks better. Now at least we have fewer things that we'll run into. Also go up here. Fetch, you're in the way. Get some of these out of the way. I'm kind of stuck on working on these two catty corner sections rather than the other two. I don't know why. Well, the one by the house mostly has trees in it at this point. Now that we're starting to feel exhausted, we should go put stuff away. I think 
was a very fairly successful three days. We know we haven't done very much, but we've leveled up in a few things. We've gotten some stuff done. We've planted some more crops. We've cleared some stuff off the farm. And really, I feel like that was a pretty good, pretty, pretty solid days four, five, and six of Stardew. It's not like we're farther into the game and we can do more stuff in a day. It's a lot of just forage what you can, plant what you can, meet people if you have to, etc, etc, etc. Not much down this way. It'll be fun when it's salmon berry season, so we'll come down here and get a bunch of berries. I think that's in like a week. I think it's like halfway through the month is when the salmon berries are there. They're super handy though. That's one of my favorite mining snacks. I'll just like hoard salmon berries. And I'll take a million salmon berries with me into the mines. I know I talk about mining snacks a lot. It's because mining's like a huge part of this game. Is anybody around? People kind of freak out if they see you going through trash cans, so like, what are you doing? Which, to be fair, I mean, that makes sense. Why would you be going through the trash cans? But come on, we found a loaf of bread in one of them. Why wouldn't you be going through the trash cans? This is the blacksmith's place up here. Oh, a flower. I have not seen a single dandelion. Strange. So I think we're about ready to call it for the night, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I will continue playing Stardew. I don't know when it'll be that I'll get back to this farm and do another video, but I will try to do so relatively soon, maybe in the next couple of months. And meanwhile, if you guys have any ideas for new videos, please let me know. I would love to hear some suggestions from you guys. You know, I'm kind of slow to get to the suggestions, but I do still have several ideas I want to get through too. So I think it's fair. I have a whole word, word file of ideas. Um, once again, as per usual, I'm sorry for the noise. We're near the 4th of July, so everybody's just kind of like, going crazy and having too many ideas and too much fun and making all sorts of noise, no matter the hour. But, uh, thank you guys for sticking around, and I hope you come back for the next video. See you next time. Bye!